Hi, Deji. My name is Austin Wild. I am a history student at Queen's University. I'm currently finishing off my master's. And, well, I'll just quickly open up who I am. So, I'm a student, first and foremost. I'm from the western side of Canada, so Victoria, British Columbia. But I went to study at Queen's, also known as the party capital of Canada. And what happened was that I want to kind of talk to you about your video. It's time to open up. I want to say that it was a very well done video, very concise to the point, and you did a great job opening up, I just want to say. And what I wanted to talk about is my own experience with November and my Asperger's. So when I was a kid, diagnosed with it, I had a very tough time socializing, understanding social cues, talking to people about certain things, even relating to counselors. Finding someone that you can really open up to is tough. So. I would have issues getting along with people, I'd have episodes where I'd explode and not understand things, and from a very young age just not have faith in people. I'd be very confused. I would look at someone and be like, okay, well, someone's going to use me, so I might as well just use them, and it led to an unhealthy view, view in what's the humanity as a whole, and that just doesn't represent who I am. So what happened was last year I wrote an article in my local paper, well, student paper, Queen's Journal, and I talked about who I was. I talked about what my experiences were. Uh, I couldn't speak until I was four or five. I couldn't read until grade four. I would just have meltdowns. I wouldn't understand a single thing with social stuff just because I couldn't understand why certain things would happen to me. And, um, well, it uh, led to a lot of negative experiences at university and high school. And uh, even though I'm proud of my time there, I still regret it heavily. So anyway, I wrote, wrote about it. I wasn't expecting to raise much money, but people started kicking in money and I almost raised 1500 bucks Canadian. So I even got a little patch for it actually, in my Queen's jacket. So right there is November patch. You get that for raising about a thousand dollars is what they said. So I raised that, I felt very proud of it. I talked about it and I feel very happy to have done so because now I just feel, I feel like I can open myself up to people and not have my entire life gets summed up in a single sentence. Oh, you're autistic, haha. <laughs> and I mean that not necessarily in the most utmost outward way, but more in a bullying way too, such as let's say, oh, you're autistic. And people look at me and I'd look at them back and I'd, even though they might mean to be positive, I'd, it's bittersweet because it's a constant process looking after yourself. It's not something you can just take a pill for and disregard. You just have to keep working on it. You have to embrace yourself. You have to keep being uncomfortable. You have to keep looking after yourself, even though it's not easy. It's extremely tough. And it shouldn't be something that is easy. It's not something to be taken light of. But at the same time, it shouldn't be something you have to feel like you have to define yourself as. You're you. You're not autistic. You're not anxious. You're not depressed. You're you. You don't need to be defined by something that doesn't define you, really. And I think that's something that people have a hard time struggling with deep down, and because I did. And it was extremely tough, but there it is. Attached, I have the journal article actually of me writing about it. Uh, my official November thing was 1375 I think it was. Well, but at the time that it was written, I got like 400 bucks. so, yep. That's who I am. My name is Austin Wild, history student at Queen's University, and like myself, I'm 23, turning 24, so happy prelated. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for your time to listening in, and well, I know there's millions of people, so keep at it, keep looking after yourself, and keep doing the work you're doing. Peace.